guys this is weird i have not been vlogging that much and by that i mean i have not been vlogging at all i moved apartments back in july i moved in with my best friend things are different now finally i'm confident enough in how this place looks and i like spending time here so i thought this is a good time to bring vlogs back although it feels very awkward for me to talk to a camera right now with a roommate next to my room Hey guys, I'm popping in from November. I was about to publish this video and I wanted to add some value to, to it. While vlogging is awesome, it's not as structured as this type of videos and I want to give it some more structure. So how do you exactly have a fresh start? Step one is cleaning your space. By getting rid of stuff, you give yourself more space. It's not only about physical space, but the mental one as well. Cleaning or decluttering is the fastest way to feel a sense of relief without necessarily having to move apartments or go through a big life change. It's not only manageable, it's not only easy to start cleaning. Obviously, that depends, but it's easier to just start cleaning your apartment than to contemplate the sense of life and where you're headed. it's important to give yourself the time to think and observe how your life is going when you don't try to micromanage it all the time. Doing nothing and observing what comes to the surface is the best and quickest way to see where your mind's at. If something comes to your mind, like an idea, a habit that you want to build or a class that you want to take, observe and take notes because you are gonna need them later. morning guys it's almost 10 a.m well what what happened <clears throat> after i woke up i ended up taking my phone and scrolling and researching the supplements i should be taking and then i ended up on tiktok and i'm gonna be honest with you fuck you too since i moved in here i could not really get my head around a new routine and i've been experimenting i've been trying new things but i could not say that i stick to a routine for even like two days in a row so every single day feels different i definitely see some trends and things that make me feel better when i do them after i graduated and moved into this apartment i felt the boredom for the first time in ages and i hated that feeling almost felt like i was not being so successful if I was experiencing boredom, which is bullshit and I have to stress it out. When things physically change around us, when we graduate, when we change jobs, when we move apartments or move to a new city or we leave relationships or enter new relationships, when we go through those things, it's absolutely normal for us to feel weird and to not know what we're supposed to be doing. You can feel bored from time to time, you can feel lazy, you can be lazy. It's okay, we're human and I need to remind myself of that after i accepted the fact that it's okay for me to feel that way because i went through so many changes in a very short amount of time when i let go of those things and just let myself be in the situation i got so many amazing ideas and i got so inspired to do so many things just developed naturally to the place where i'm at right now and not to say that the place i'm at right now is perfect because it's it's not i still don't know what the hell i'm doing <laughs> 
but it's definitely more focused if there is a lesson in that just let yourself be and stop being so hard on yourself Other thing I forgot to tell you. I live with two cats now. Every time I do makeup before my therapy, I question myself because I know I will cry. So it's just pointless. I just stick with my upper lashes and then I can cry and it almost never looks that bad. The things you learn when you cry a lot, am I right ladies? Try new experiences. Experiment. Life is supposed to be fun. So often we take things that are not as important and we turn them into this big thing, this big struggle that basically makes us unhappy and it doesn't have to. But that's like besides the point. If you've been thinking about taking a class for a long time or if you've been thinking about starting a hobby or you have that idea that's just been there for years now, when you want to create a fresh start, focusing on those experiences, focusing on those things can be very good for you. Not only that, not only that you're gonna try new things but you can also discover even your life's purpose if you do this right and if it's not gonna be your life purpose we need hobbies you know <laughs> we need to have something that keeps us sane and we need to do things that are fun for us to feel good about ourselves and and not only that it can help you create a structure in your new schedule so often we schedule our weeks around what our work schedules look like and not to say that's a bad thing it is important but taking time for yourself is very freaking important and we do not take that as seriously as job schedules for example so signing up for a class or scheduling the time to do the thing you want to try out is a great way to start creating a new schedule for yourself one that will actually benefit you hi <laughs> i forgot to give you updates i am at my parents house right now i had to run some errands i need a new student id photos so i got those yes this is me in a weird way everybody had to do something and i'm sitting here alone in the living room so that's fun as i'm filming this it's september 10th it's my pole dancing birthday so six years ago back in 2014 i went to my first pole dancing class it made me kind of sobby if you don't know over a year ago i injured my wrists and because it's my pole dancing birthday i decided to reach out to my trainer and ask her if she had places available i've been meaning to do this for a while but i also am afraid a lot and i'm glad i took that step because it's been on my mind forever and now at least i can try and see if i can continue pole dancing and if i want to do that this is just so funny do you remember that bet considering i still upload footage from this room you probably do this is my safe place this is my happy place like two months ago i was here every single day adulting is weird moving out your parents house is weird <laughs> it's, it's it's weird it's good but it's it's weird i get sobby very easily because i just like it at home is taking care of foundation. Things like sleep, eating healthy, and moving your body are not optional. If you don't have the energy that comes from sleeping seven to eight hours, from eating healthy, like relatively healthy, and from moving your body, 
then you're not gonna have the energy to actually accomplish the stuff that you want to accomplish and you're gonna just feel frustrated all the time because you will feel like you're not doing enough but then again like how can you do enough if you're not taking care of yourself first during quarantine during lockdown it's especially difficult to make time for moving your body because you're not going out as much and you don't have that spontaneous movement that you otherwise would have one of the reasons i had to come back home was first of all i needed documents because okay that's a reveal i didn't see coming i signed up for a photography course i don't yet know if i'm gonna finish it but it's just something that i'm trying out because i want to learn more about working with people and not food only you know and i needed documents for that but other than that i don't have a printer at my apartment i used this situation to print out quite a lot of things if you've been following me for a while you may already know that i've been dieting with the help of my friend who's a dietitian while working with her i've got quite a few meal plans but because my eating habits are getting slightly out of hand i thought it would be easier for me to use ready to go meal plans that she created for me when we were working together the bad part about it is that i'm using a lot of paper when it comes to healthy habits when we sacrifice those habits for other things we actually sacrifice our health and we also sacrifice how efficient we are at doing the things we sacrificed those good habits for because you can't be efficient you can't be productive you can't be on your best when those three things are optional to you i noticed that i've been having problems in the eating department and that's why i'm printing those things that's why i'm trying to make it easier for myself to get back on track to eat healthy and to take care of my diet and i'm by no means perfect in that department especially <laughs> but i'm trying and that's what i would like for you to also figure out for yourself how can you make it easier for yourself to stick to those healthy habits as much as we think we can like sleep four hours a night and it's okay because we do get some work done no it does not work like this especially not in the long run how can you incorporate those three things into your new routine into your new fresh start to make everything else work for you as well now i have a folder on my desktop that uses the exact same code as i'm using for my diet plans it's gonna be easier when creating grocery lists and stuff because I will just copy what I have to buy from the PDF straight into my task management app and it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. So hopefully it was worth all of the effort that it took. I don't know if you noticed but I really like to create systems. Although it takes some effort at the beginning, it makes things go smoothly later. So hopefully it's gonna be that case this time as well. Step number five is to actively think. Now remember Remember when I told you to take notes of the things that catch your interest? It's a good point to start creating a big ass life map for everything you want to do with your life. I personally like to use mind maps for that, so just start with a word like, I don't know, 2020 or 2021. Then I branch out to all of the different areas of my life and think about what do I want to be doing? What do I want to improve? Or what do I want to try? Actively brainstorming what you want your life to look like will give you a holler picture of the things you should be focusing on and the things that are really important to you. Step number six is organizing everything you have written down and setting some goals. So what are your things that you want to do daily? What are the things that you want to do weekly, monthly, yearly, and so on? What is a goal that you want to accomplish and what is a habit you want to build? These are completely different things and you will need different approach to accomplish them. yesterday because it was so hectic i had to pick up photos that i had to develop i need them for my class before that i had a two hour gym with my friend and after that we did a three hour mastermind and then i had my german class so i was going from place to place and you probably know how i feel about vlogging in public spaces yesterday was not the day and my camera died at 7 a.m 55 i have to get ready because today is my school day step number seven is getting 
being real? Can you really do all of it at once? If not, what will you start with? What's the next goal you want to accomplish? What's the next habit you want to build? The thing I'm focusing on right now is building a yoga habit. I'm doing yoga every single evening and I've been trying to add some things to that, but it's been not working for me. So I took a step back and focused to be my best while on mad doing yoga and then kind of getting a feel of what do I want my next step to be and I'm trying to incorporate it but not being frustrated if it doesn't work you know is to create a plan. You already know what you have to do, but you may be the type of person who enjoys checklists or you like habits trackers, or maybe you want to add those things to your calendar, or maybe you put your habits and goals onto your to-do list. Like every approach is right, just know what works for you. Take this time to actually organize it in a way that you always know what you're supposed to be doing about your goals or your habits. Add the new things that you've discovered to the system that's already working for you. Hi. It's been a few days since I updated you. When I came back, I was so exhausted and so tired. I was about to get my period, but I knew that if I lay down, I would like not do anything at all. And it was relatively early, so I just cleaned my bathroom and like vacuumed. And then around 7 p.m., watched TikToks for a few hours. Literally, that's that's how I spent my evening. I'm not proud of it, but it was very much needed. Now it's already like half well. It's a very late morning. I'm trying to embrace the fact. Trying as in I'm not completely accepting it, but I'm trying to embrace the fact that I had a very intense three days. I decided to take it easy today. Just stick with like three things I want to do today. Tomorrow is actually my birthday. Fun fact. So I hope not to work that much tomorrow. That's why I want to do some work today. I'm tired and I got my period, so it's not the best mood. But we're gonna turn it around and just do the minimum to feel good about ourselves. <music> Last but not least is to experiment with your routines. At the beginning of this video, I said that I have been struggling to create real routines for myself, and that's true, I have been. <laughs> the approach that I've been taking now is to pick a habit that I want to start my day with and then a habit that I want to end my day with. To be completely honest, I don't yet have a good solid morning routine in this place. It's been two months and I still haven't really figured it out, but it's okay. I've been doing yoga for the past three weeks and it's the last thing I do before going to bed. I used to think that I have to do yoga in the mornings for it to make sense but now I end my days with yoga and it's been working perfectly for me. After a day spent in front of my computer it's so good to end my day with yoga with movement expanding my mobility and stuff like that. I love it and I wouldn't have not know that if I didn't try to switch it from mornings to evenings. So definitely experiment with your routines and the things you do every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a like or subscribe because it lets the algorithm know that this is a video worth watching and it will recommend my video to other people which really helps me out a lot so if you could do that i would be very grateful other than that i love you more than i love coffee and i see you in the next one and life is your story so make it a good one bye guys yeah.